Starting with version 18, Oxygen XML Editor introduced a three-way comparison feature to help you solve conflicts and merge changes between multiple modifications. It is especially helpful for teams that have multiple authors who make changes to the same file at the same time, which might result in conflicts. Finding what has been modified by each person can be difficult. The Diff Files tool provides a comparison between your change to a particular file, another change to the same file, and the original base revision for that file. Some additional advantages include you can visualize and merge content that was modified by you and another member of your team, you can easily see the differences even when the document structure has been rearranged, it allows you to merge XML relevant modifications. In the first part of the demonstration, we'll show you how the Diff Files tool works using two versions of the same base file. This is to demonstrate the possible use case of wanting to compare files when all the versions are stored locally. The second part of the demonstration will show how the Diff Files tool works in conjunction with file versioning system. We'll show how to integrate the Diff Files tool with source tree over a Git repository and how to use it with SyncroSVN client over an SVN repository. In our first example, we'll see the differences between two revisions of the same file that are modifications of the same base file. This file represents the base or the file that spawned the other two versions. Now we start the Diff Files tool and select the two versions of the file that we want to compare. Note that the three-way diff mode is not yet enabled, meaning that the files are compared in two-way mode. To activate the three-way comparison mode, press this button. Note that a new input box is now displayed that allows you to select the base file, also known as the ancestor file. Now we press the Perform File Differencing button to start the comparison. Notice that the incoming changes, outgoing changes and conflicts are presented with different colors. By default, a blue color represents incoming changes, a gray color for outgoing changes and red for conflicts. For a three-way comparison, there are three algorithms available. Lines which computes the differences at line level, meaning that it compares the files looking for identical lines of text. XML fast, which works well on large files or fragments. And XML accurate, which compares two XML files or fragments looking for identical XML nodes. It is more precise than XML fast, but at the expense of speed and memory. Note that if auto is selected, Oxygen automatically chooses the most appropriate algorithm based on the size and type of the files to be compared. After the algorithm is applied and the differences are displayed, you can merge blocks of changes at once or individual modifications using in-place actions. When one of the XML algorithms is used, you can choose to ignore certain changes in various XML nodes by setting options in the Files Comparison Preferences page. In our case, we will choose to ignore the text content and the comments from the compared documents. This way, we can focus just on the structural changes. You can also choose to filter out all the nodes selected by an XPath expression. For example, let's say that we want to ignore all ID values set in the document. Now, for the next part of the demonstration, we want to show you how to start the Diff Files tool directly in the three-way mode. 
One way to do this is from the project view by selecting the three files. The first selected file will be opened in the left panel, the second file in the right panel, and the third one will be the base file. Another way to start the dfiles2 in three-way mode is to use parameters in a command line script that will pass the paths of the files to be compared to the two. The script line would look like this, where path to the left file will be added in the left panel, path to the right file will be added in the right panel, path to ancestor file will be the base file. Note that if the base file is missing, the dfiles2 will start in two-way comparison mode. Otherwise, it will start in three-way comparison mode. As a possible use case, you can integrate the dfiles2 with a file versioning system. For example, you can integrate it with source3 as an external div2 and as a merge tool. Now, using the external diff action, you can see the modifications side by side. You can also see the modifications made on the repository at a certain revision. For example, we'll check what has been modified at this revision by comparing the committed version of a file with its previous one. You can also notice that the differences are presented side by side, this allowing you to spot the exact changes more easily. You can also solve the conflicts. In another project in our demonstration, notice that we have a conflict in the flowers.xml file. From the contextual menu, we select the Resolve Conflicts launch external merge tool action to start the dfiles tool. Now we can easily see the changes, incoming, outgoing and conflicts, and we can solve them with some simple actions. Please note that before you close the application, you need to always save the content of the merged file, since this is not done automatically. In our case, this involves copying the content of the file where we merge the changes. Then, we open the conflicting file in Oxygen and paste the content copied earlier. As another possible use case, the dfiles tool is also integrated in the SyncroSVN client. After synchronizing the local working copy with the remote repository, we have a conflict between a remote and local version of an XML file. To start the comparison between the two versions relative to the base, we simply double-click the file name. Note that the compare view in SyncroSVN client is integrated as a three-way comparison, so it's automatically activated. All the features that are included in the dfiles tool are also available in SyncroSVN client, such as the three-way comparison algorithms, the various options and the XPath filtering. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.